Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making sausage and pierogies. Alright guys, I'm just making something simple today. It's all going to be done in this electric skillet. That's how simple it is. I'm starting out to have some Italian sausage links. I'm going to lay them in here. And this isn't a, a video that's really going to be about anything uh, special. It's just a quick meal idea, guys. I'm going to put some vegetable oil in my uh, electric skillet. And I am making enough for two links of sausage for each person. All right, let's see here. All right, now I have a box of frozen pierogies, and for you guys who don't know who, what pierogies are, they're just a, a little dough pocket filled with cheese. This here is four cheese medley. I'm going to get them there. They're frozen. I some people boil these first before they cook them. I just always cook them frozen. And I have an onion here I sliced up. I'm going to get that in or over top of the pierogies. And I'm going to season my pierogies with a little bit of uh, Creole seasoning, guys. You can season them with anything you like. Salt, pepper, Italian seasoning, garlic, salt, whatever. Now I'm going to cook this on low, slow. That way there everything cooks evenly through. And I'll go in and turn it around occasionally. I have my electric skillet set on 250. And I'm going to put my lid on here and just let this go. Because if I set it too high, it's going to brown everything that's going to be cold in the middle or raw. So we want to cook that low and slow. Guys, I left this go for a half hour, like I said, on low, 250. And about halfway through, I took the cover off. So my pierogies won't be totally mushy. and get a little uh, crisp. This is ready to go. Let's go ahead and fix up a plate and see what we got. All right, guys, let me get in here and give this a try. I'll start with my sausage. Now, the way my mom always made sausage is she would put it in a frying pan and let it boil in some water. And then when the water boiled down, she would fry it. But you can cook it this way as long as you cook it slow and it's cooked through and you can see it's nice and juicy and cooked through. It's really good. Moist, not dry at all. Has that classic Italian sausage flavor. Try some of my pierogi here, guys. Now these are a little harder to cut because they got crispy from frying in there. They're really good. That onion gives it a nice flavor and that seasoning I put on it. Guys, this is nothing fancy. It's just a quick meal for when you want to take the easy way out. All right, there you have it, guys. Sausage and pierogies. Give it a try. Thanks for watching. And until next time, I'll see you.